G'day guys, so it's me and Joe here. We're at Balloomba Falls, or Balloomba Creek camping ground. And, uh, I'm gonna go for a bit of a hike. Don't ex know exactly where, uh, but we saw a bit of a trail down there, so we're gonna follow it. Yeah, that's, that's nice, isn't it? It's like gold it's mine. Red cross, everyone wants it. Balumba Creek, Balumba Creek camping. Should we go to the gold mine? Gold mine. Oh. <laughs> it's massive. This is huge. Is that a cane toad? Yeah. I've never seen a cane toad that freaking big. Unstable mine ceiling and back wino. This gold mine was worked in the early 1900s. Length of drive is 60 meters. The mine is now inhabited by colonies of common bentwing and eastern <laughs> horseshoe bats. For your own safety and to prevent disturbance of the bat colonies, do not proceed past this fence. Wow. Well, they certainly don't let you go in too far, do they? No, unfortunately. Wow, so out of all the places in the bush, they found this particular spot to build a gold mine. And imagine trekking here in the early 1900s, bringing in all that equipment to carve this out of stone and then extract gold from the earth. Pretty crazy. Big bar. This is really an amazing hike deep into the forest here because it's the sheer amount of enormous trees that we found is pretty breathtaking and to be able to grow that high they've got to be hundreds of years old and to think that they've just been standing here what seems like eternity is pretty amazing the strangler can is uh is an interesting I guess piece of art that we read about yesterday on the internet so let's check it out Strangler can. Alright, is it finally going to lead us to the Strangler can? We're going to get strangled. It's like a bit of a never ending journey here to see this, you know. It said like 600 meters and it said 430 yeah. meters. It feels like we've walked a kilometer. Yeah, one turn after another. Why is it called Strangler? Any idea? Because they've planted a Strangler fig, this one, ah. on top of the can. I created this egg-like can all from stone. Actually, in the photos it looks really neat. And then at the top is just this little plant, and here it is. Oh wow, here she is. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, there's a fig on top. Oh man. Nice. Huh, it's pretty small. <laughs> Long time to go. Yep. So just look at that for size comparison. That's um, decent bouldering. On pretty this massive. Thing. Online, they were saying that they think one of two things is going to happen. One, it's going to the roots are going to grow over this, like a strangler should usually. Mm. And the other theory is that it's going to do. What you just said which is destroy these rocks and they'll just crumble mm. or grow over it but yeah it's tiny at the moment but even that's probably a couple of years old what did you think about it joe my feelings about it i think it's pretty cool middle uh, of nowhere so people kind of have to work for it to see it i definitely think that it's an awesome idea to put a landmark out in the bush that looks cool something mm. to get to but yeah. I also think that fig is going to blow the fox out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to see in, I don't know how many years, to see what actually happens with that strangler fig. So, um, technically, those roots are just going to... I mean, the strangler fig should go around the host, but... I guess in theory, yeah. But It'll it's not a tree. It. It's, a, it's basically egg-shaped, so... A rock that's sort of just sitting together without any 
Mm. Maybe if there's enough weight and the roots are small, maybe it'll build around it. Yeah, but otherwise, it could crack through it and just leave a, leave a bunch of rubble. Yeah. Quite an expensive experiment. experiment. About $800,000 I read, so $300,000 for the artist and the rest of the money was for airlifting rocks and materials and tools here into the into the jungle but um yeah interesting definitely creative and you know in the middle of the rainforest which is uh, pretty different Thanks for joining us. We're here in Kenilworth. We're gonna get some nice meat pies for lunch. And uh, I hope you had a lovely trip just like we did exploring these creeks and rainforests. And uh, of course, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.